What's up guys, Mr. Reality here from nowhere, just from here, and I'm bringing you my first video on my, well not my first video, but my first video on the playlist here, my playlist that is going to be titled, a great title that I have not came up with, but is going to be basically about Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty tips and tricks with Mr. Regology with your host, Mr. Gology. I think that sounds better, I don't know. Leave a comment saying which one you like more. But anyways, basically this first episode is going to be about accuracy, because that is the most important thing in the game, next to thinking smart and your thinking ability in-game and not thinking of the players. But we'll go through all that in a different episode. But before I give you the accuracy info and whatever you want to call it, I'm going to give you a little bit of background information about me because I'm guessing you don't want to learn how to play Call of Duty from someone that's just a public player, your average public player, no offense to your average public player and stuff like that. I'm just saying like you might as well learn someone from someone more advanced and has a lot of experience in competitive Call of Duty and whatnot. No offense to your public players, but I'm just saying this is another way to learn. So basically, I started playing GB in about 2000, uh, 2008 or nine. I'm not for sure. I'd have to check my game, my game balls profile. But I started off really bad. I'll be honest with you. I was like a 500k, and I had four or five wins on the team that was like four and 23 at first, with just a bunch of school friends, my school friends, and as obviously I didn't go that well but they they started not wanting to play anymore so I moved on to create my own team again but obviously I didn't leave the last one good enough and then I moved on to the new team like I said with one of the, my school buddies I played with which is I clutch I I know he's still pretty good and all blah 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 but anyways we don't play a game of together anymore. He, well, we do every now and then for doubles. He's just not on a lot. Anyways, so with this team, we ended up having a slightly negative record, like six and eight or six and seven, stuff like that. So obviously it was a lot better because we created a team with other members and people who are really dedicated to GB, blah, 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 blah. And we have earned a lot of experience and we scrimmed a lot. So that's that. The year later, about 2011, we're still playing together, and I'm not sure what year. That was, I think that was, yeah, the original Black Ops year. I split up from that team after a while, got bored of it, and I ended up on a really, really solid team. We ended up going, like, 60 and 3 in our first season. I don't know, it was pretty dang good, in my opinion. We won a few tournaments, got a few trophies, and that's basically where my game battles kicked off, and it took off, and... I just grew from there. Now a 7.5k on 7.5k GB rank that is on game battles with a lot of trophies and what else? Oh, the year later on MW3, I started back up with Iquach I. We had a team. We went 123 or 124, one to two in like five or six. So 123 and six possibly. I don't know. Let me look. Yeah, 123 and six. So. It was me, him, this guy named Pastel, and another player, I forget actually. But anyways, we were really good obviously. We got second in the, it was our best placing in the season. We didn't finish the full season out originally. We always started mid-season. Not for sure why, but we never did any tournaments. We probably should have. Or we did one or two ICN tournaments, and more fun. We placed pretty well in one, but the other ones we just didn't have the time and whatnot to participate in. So I led that team to 123 and about 7, like I said. And from there, Black Ops 2 came out. We really stopped playing GB, and it just turned to me playing League Play and a lot of Minecraft now. Obviously, I own a Minecraft server, Corbacraft. It's great people on there. Pretty fun stuff. I might start GB and again up a, a soon here. Maybe not in Black Ops 2, but maybe in the next Call of Duty. Most likely in the next Call of Duty with my MW3 team that I used to play with. So I'll probably end up doing that. And yeah, 
So, time to get on to the accuracy topic. Accuracy is, like I was saying, the most important part in the game of Call of Duty. It involves, like, not involves, but if you have accuracy, you have gun skill, and gun skill wins to gunfights, and gunfights lead to game wins. And that's basically how it goes. That's the equation to Call of Duty right there for you. All in one little 10 seconds. Well, actually, there's another little bit of an equation, but we'll release the whole equation some other time. Um, so, my first tip for accuracy is your sensitivity. Look at what sensitivity you play on. I've guaranteed you heard this before. That high sensitivity is not better for you. In my opinion, it's a lot worse because you're going to swing it around and you can't get as accurate shots. I, myself, I play on 3 sensitivity or 4 sensitivity. It seems to work perfectly, accuracy-wise. And I've been playing on that since MW3As and a little bit of MW2. Yeah, maybe a little bit of MW2. may have been MW2 days. I had a period when I was like, the workout that sounded weird. But anyways, there was a certain point that I had a 7 sensitivity. I was playing on really high sensitivity. I realized that's not going to cut it for me. Blah, blah, blah. I realized then 3 and 4 sensitivity. Perfect. Uh, another way to improve your accuracy on Black Ops 2, not on all Call of Duties here because not all Call of Duties have the same attachments, is the attachments you put on your gun. I, myself, I use Quick Draw on every single gun, no matter what Quick Draw. It doesn't really improve your accuracy, but that gets you first shot, first shot wins gunfights. Just a quick tip there. I use Quick Draw and a lot of reflexes sights or iron sights. For my submachine guns, I also use a long barrel. I don't use the foregrip because the long barrel, I need that range badly. Definitely in this game, there's a lot of maps that are spread out, etc. For my M8A1, as you see here, and my AN94, I use Quick Draw. And for my M8, it's Quick Draw, FMJ, and a Reflex. And for my AN, it's Quick Draw and FMJ. Because in this game, the guns don't seem to shoot through walls that well effectively. But if you have the FMJ, then it's just shooting through walls overpoweredly and whatnot relating to that. Um, yeah, I just got shot in the back there. Anyways. Uh, what else? Another way to improve is by your uh, having vibration enabled. Vibration enabled helps a lot for me. For some people it won't. You'll just have to mess around with that. I like it enabled just because you like to get the feel for the gun, etc. Oh, yeah, etc. And, um, yeah basically all for vibration. Now, I also have certain perks I use to improve my accuracy. My three perk setups, or I guess kind of four, because I have four perks set on, is on my first, it doesn't really matter. I strongly advise either lightweight or flak jacket. And then on my second, I always use toughness. I used to use fast hands. Fast hands did not cut it, I realized, and you gotta, you gotta have that accuracy in this game, especially in this game. So I had to put on toughness, so I reduced all my flinch. And there goes my Xbox. So I reduced all my flinch, and for my second perk, I have... Actually, I just went over my second perk. For my third perk, I have dexterity, so I can get first shot. Just a quick draw, seems to help a lot. And in my uh, third class, I always have dead silence also. Dead silence is the most important perk in any competitive game just giving you a heads up right now. If you're just starting out in competitive, that's what it is. Dead silence, you must have. Unless you know the other team you're playing does not have a good, strong headset, like, or just not strong, it just has to be a headset. It can be a simple Turtle Beach X41, which is a great headset, in my opinion. But they also have other headsets, too. Anyways, that'll be a whole different series, a whole different, or not series, but a whole different video for the headsets and gear to use when you're playing. Um, what else do we got here? Treyarch Call of Duty, whenever you're up close, if you're up close, you must hit fire, because he gets, like, the bullets quadruple, 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 quad, 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 quadruple, huh, said it, like, 20 times right now. Let's hear it. So that's basically all I have for you guys, and please comment, like, subscribe if you really like the video, otherwise it's up to you obviously. And I hope you guys keep watching, and 
enjoy the rest of my videos in this series. See ya. Nice work. RTB for debrief. Reload. 